Guys, gals, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name's Luke at Hotshot. I hope everyone's doing really well today. We're here on Crusader Kings 3. For our campaign, is the King of Ireland. I just want to take a moment out of the video at the start here to say thank you for all of the support recently here on YouTube and over on Twitch. Speaking of Twitch, if you want to go check that out, and uh, if you aren't followed over there, I stream Monday through Thursday, sometimes on the weekend. Currently recording this on Saturday, and I did stream today. So there's some days where I do stream extra. Um, if you guys want to see it, basically, you know, if people request that sort of stuff, I will stream. Uh, so yeah, go check out the link in the description, as well as the Discord link as well. But yeah, without any further ado, guys, let's get into the video. So, Crusader Kings 3. I'm a fan. Um... I did a bunch of recording a couple of weeks back to put me in front. And it put me so far in front that I hadn't played Crusader Kings 3. And I was a bit like, hmm. I was a bit umming and ahhing about playing. Because I've got mixed feelings on it now. Like, I think it's a really good game. Um, don't get it twisted. But I feel as though there's, at the moment, before the first DLCs come out, there, are, there is not much replayability. Yes, there's different things you can do. You know, different goals of the campaign. Instead of just being like, yes, we're going to form, be, be the king of Ireland. It's like, I'm going to make a dwarf family. Or I'm going to make a giant family. Or we're going to go from the king of Ireland to a count in Germany. Speaking of Germany, look at that Holy Roman Empire. So yeah, there's a, there's a ton of stuff you can do, but when I say replayability, I'm not meaning the game in general. I'm meaning like I can be a Duke of Ireland or a Duke of England or a Duke of France and then work myself up to the King rank in a couple of lifetimes. And then as soon as you've sorted out the succession and the realm, you're okay. Um, and at that point, you know, you can just kind of sit back and relax sort of thing so it's one of those um and i mean we did reach our goal of becoming the king of ireland and uh, i think i'm gonna i don't know i want to end the series but i don't at the same time like like there's probably more stuff we could do and i could be pushing harder but do you know what i mean i'm just kind of like hmm do I want to though? Like that that that's the problem I've got. For example, like do I do I want to take over Alba? Do I want to go to Iceland? Do I want to do a bit in England? Or you know, or am I gonna leave it like this and then maybe start a new series or something? Like that? Let me know in the comments anyway what your thoughts are. So a secret's being exposed. My night my knight Ulf has accused my granddaughter Dunlave of having an extra extra marital affair with my son-in-law how could she defile the sanctity of her marriage well she's with child these accusations are not but lies i am no longer a paragon of virtue i am a devoted servant so that's a scandal oh well it was true okay Oh, she's bisexual. Fair enough. Defending my granddaughter. I gained 300 learning lifestyle experience. Uh, again, focus student for four years. Oh, nice. Appreciate that. She aids me in learning studies. Bom, bom, bom. Visions of the divine. I beckon my archbishop to join me in the circle of brass orbs and candles arranged on staves throughout the dark room. The incest clawing into clawing the air to ward off the bad vapors makes our eyes tear up in little time. This is how through the corner of our eyes we will spot the inscrutable form of angels. However he soon pause this feels wrong. These are not these are divine beings not meant for mortal eyes to see. Convince him we'll convince him. More XP baby we're about to become a fucking philosopher. And if we can do that before we die, right, we get an achievement. Uh, and it's like well, you you, be, you get the perk of all three thingies. 
Divinity holds the answer to every question. From what resides in the heart of men to the mysteries of life. So yeah. So yeah, I'm kind of like, do I do I st do I do like some hearts of land four, or do I do, um, you know, something else? Nottinghamshire, Nottinghamshire, Kettering, Nottingham down here, right? Um. Uh. Cheshire, Lindsay, East Riding, Durham, Debar, Cornwall, Kent, Berkshire, Wessex. Oh, Northamptonshire. Who's their allies? The King of Aquitaine. Fuck off. Wow, okay, fair enough. I guess we're not going to war with that really, really small county. Because there's a king. So, ah, oh, you're a bit ugly, aren't you? Big yikes. Okay, no worries. Matrilineal, inheritable, yep. Grandson. I mean, you could keep him in the family. Could keep him in the family. Oh, wait. They wouldn't be inbred. But they'd inherit that. Yeah, that's... The, that's... Fuck. 15 and 16. Yeah, but you see, it's not even inbred. Even though they're both my, they're both my grandsons. Because, like, their parents are, like, brothers and sisters. But then they're, like, second or third cousins. Sure thing. Sure thing. So, um, that's that. Uh, get some more of that hot. No, 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 I don't want to. No, no, no. I would like... No, ah, oh, it's done it now, for fuck's sake. Wanted to go on a feast, potentially, but <clears throat> apparently not. So, they can marry. <coughs> so, these two can marry now. Apologies about that, guys. Uh, yep, they both get 300 prestige. Ended my scheme. My heir is my son. Elections. Let's have a look. Electors. You're voting for the prince. I. <clears throat> I'm going to sway you. Get swayed. Get swayed, my dude. Can declare two wars against the king of England. King of Aquith. How? Wow, they don't have that many men. What, what, what's up with that? You have 6,000. Aquitaine has 1,600. Norway has no basically. Fair enough. <coughs> About Gwynedd. <gasps> They're allied to the Isle of Man and the Queen of Galloway. 2,800. 900. 2,800. Yeah, so they'd be superior to us. Unfortunate, but... Hey, ho, powerful count, uh, vassals. Expect council positions. Uh, if you were... Well, we can basically say to you... Hmm. Well, you can't do it because the only good thing you're at... Only thing you're good at, sorry, is learning. And our bishop... You're not a bishop, so 
Sorry, what about you? Again, you're the ugly man. You're not as good as any of these guys. Sorry. And the Duke. Again. Apologies, boys. Apologies. You just you just not as good as my actual my actual car. So how much is it for a Mr. Oh, Mystical Communion. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yes. Achievement unlock. Three, two, one. Boom. Top left or bottom right for me. The way of life. Life, not life. Hello, thank you, Steam. Appreciate that, buddy. Your pal. Way of life. Complete an entire lifestyle. So all three trees. So we are now a scholar. We have the whole of body. And we are a theologian. Our health is poor. But now we have to choose a focus. So we can't complete any more of this. Um probably just do we could probably do something like this or like diplomacy but if we if we keep like this we've got all the perks for this though we could just put it on piety extra piety a month on theology 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 um do 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 what's the second best thing we're good at martial or diplomacy okay So we do Majesty Focus. Yep. And then we'll work on coming down the family hierarchy, I guess. I don't know. I don't know, my dude. Don't ask questions. <clears throat> like how Castile just owns this one little bit there. Oh, you've blobbed a bit. The Tash Finn Grand Emirate. Emirate. So, you're like not even as good as me. If you're a father, wise man, scholar, herbalist, confider, whole body. So, he's dependent on the consumption of marijuana. He's a journaler and he has. He has cancer. Wow. Bless his soul. Bless his little soul. Ooh, let's go. Oh, or should we? Let's try and get novice hunter. We tried going on the hunts before, and we just haven't got the uh, hunter trait. We got famous reveler. But we don't have the, like, novice hunter one. Uh, just as my vassal, may the mayor, and I crest a hill, we hear it. The snapping of twigs, the rustle of branches, birds screaming in fright. There are heralds announcing its, its arrival. A massive heart heading straight for us. Its path ends here with me. 40% chance I get a hunting trophy. I am injured or there's a third chance that I die. I'm just going to tell him to do something. He's got a little favor on me. That's fine. And we return home in disappointment. Fair enough. So I spent the prestige and got the prestige back. Which is a shame, really. <clears throat> Let's... um. Increase you to a size 5. So now we're just under 10 gold a month. Ah, I can feel it in the very bones. Death will come for me soon. Like an old friend, he is patiently waiting to receive me. I will be dead within a year. 
so he will <clears throat> he will be 76 before he passes That's a shame. <clears throat> so at this point, if we were... I think, yeah, I think this is going to be the last episode. At this point, because we have very high learning focus, because we know we'd be dead in a year, we would spend the year giving our titles and stuff, and stuff that we would potentially lose on succession, to people that can keep it in the realm uh but i think i think the series is long enough um i think this is what this will be like episode 26 or something uh the eu4 is by far more popular now uh it's a shame to say it. crusader kings 3 is a ton of fun i might come back and do another series on it in the future if you guys want to see it or if you know i want to come back to it myself but yeah that's basic this, this is going to be the very last um we'll we'll send letters to her seeing as though we're only going to live for another six months philosophical debates um but yeah we've done we've done very well in this series and um and i, and I feel as though this series has, has helped the channel pushes in the right direction which is absolutely fine and uh yeah i think i think we're gonna my last chance give me one year no may your journey be swift and safe the the replayability is a bit i think we'll come back to it when the dlc comes out or start a series before the dlc but up until that i think the focus i'm gonna have is eu4 for a bit and do a bit of hoi4 maybe Bum 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 April May The month of our passing ladies and gentlemen And that's it Guys we have died High King Damal of Ireland rests in the arms of the Lord at 76 years of age. He died of old age, although quite famous for his sharp intellect. He could still not outsmart death. We lost three titles. He, he ruled for 49 years. High King Asin ascends to the throne. His eyes always set upon the next target. The vassals of the realm do well in locking up their spouses as Asin takes to the throne. He's a seducer. So we will continue. But yeah, guys, that is it for Crusader Kings 3 here on the channel for the time being. If you've enjoyed, please do drop a like down below subscribe if you're new again go check out the links for twitch and discord we do hearts find four as well as among us multiplayers and we do single player achievement streams and, and and stuff like that so you're interested in that go check out the link in the description like i've said but yeah up until the next video guys take care of yourself stay safe please and uh, i hope to see you in the next video because you know um yeah you should watch it. Go watch it. Love you all, guys.
Uh, and uh, yeah, 